<sighs> Will I finally break the curse and break out of Diamond 5? Who knows? Was I considering your version of the deck? Um, I would... I wouldn't say particularly. It was just because, you know, some cards I had used in my deck to uh, to try to play around freaking Tempai got banned, like Secret Village and whatnot. So since there's no Secret Village, I, I don't really have a reason to run uh, to run uh, Majesty Pegasus. So those two cards I just replaced, just decided to throw in the uh, Spellbook package. And of course, since, you know, uh, I can't use Vortex and Absolute since I'm playing a Link deck for the festival. I just decided to throw in, you know, Crowley and uh, Crowley and Artemis to help out with the draws. Is this dude seriously playing Branded Tier Limit? Oh, main and ranked. Um. Oh, and ranked currently. No, I'm still sticking with my usual build for now. Dude is playing branded tier limit. And honestly, with this hand, it ain't looking too good already. Yep, dude still hasn't even used his normal summon. Yeah, I appreciate it, Bomber. Honestly, I don't feel like dealing with this. Whatever. This hand is... This ain't a great hand anyways. I still have low patience for dealing with long-ass tier limit boards. I, I have little patience for long tier limit boards. This hand is still pretty bad. Let's see if I can draw into anything good. Probably not. Well, I've got to deal with Max C. Oh, Labyrinth. Let me guess, he already has Welcome Labyrinth or something. Okay, he's on PlayStation, so yeah, PlayStation has connection issues. Unless you're using an Ethernet cable. His name is Yusei Fudo, but he's even has the Stardust Dragon mate. Okay, that might be a that might be a genuine uh, connection fail. Bro activated Arius and surrendered. I wonder if he. I'm sure, I'm sure he probably did. But I don't think he, the only thing he could have set up that could have stopped me would be uh, d different dimension ground and dimension barrier, I guess. Or Daruma. Daruma would have been annoying. Or Trap Trick to set whatever he needs, but you know. Whatever. Okay, using the new field. K 
Dante, immediately starting off with horror stuff. This is uh, this is horror tailorman. I can probably tell it's a sixty card deck. It's gonna go right into the zombie vampire, mill a bunch of tier stuff, and pop off from there. I'm calling it. Yep. Where's the rainbow? There's the freaking rainbow bridge. I already knew it. Tier limit. Nay, hey, Shadow. You just got Master One yesterday against the. Nice. Well, if you know me, I'm still stuck in freaking Diamond 5. Yeah, if I don't feel like dealing with this. Again, I, I don't have the patience to deal with tier limits, long ass combos. I don't have the patience to deal with it. I'd rather just scoop and move on. Open drop. I mean, for the droplet stuff, that's why I'm running Secret Village. That's why I'm running Majesty Pegasus. To search myself Secret Village. This is another... 60 card deck? It is, oh my fucking god. And it's branded. What the fuck is up with all of these 60 card decks showing up all of a sudden? Yeah, I'm gonna hold on because I have servant. I have servant with uh, Citadel and like two chicken games and called by. I don't think a 60 card deck is the most optimal. Unless like you hard open grass or something. Which is a one of in 60 cards. Branded lost, I'm guessing. Of course it is. What decks aren't carried by Maxi? At least I know that set card is an imperm right now. It could still be one of these two. People still like to go first against Tempai when all they gotta do is pretty much like open droplet. 
And then what are you going to do against Tempai if they open Droplet against you? Setting up all those negates is going to be pretty worthless once they Droplet you. Especially if you're under Max C while you do. Uh, I should have activated Citadel first. I needed to activate Citadel before the Institution. Now, I think I can summon uh, Jackal King here since I have Called by the Grave to stop whatever he tries to grab from the Grave with Branded Banishment. So I think I can summon Jackal King here. I mean, I'm not going to be surprised if he has an Imperm, but you know, it's whatever. I'd rather deal with the Mirror Jade and then called by it later. Or called by him trying to reborn it. I'm gonna grab a Baby Jackal here. Watch me have that trap that negates everything but one card. Oh, he didn't activate Mirror Jade, okay. Does he have branded opening in Grave? He does not. And I'm gonna leave this up just in case he has Imperm. Ooh, he has Super Poly and everything. Oh, I totally forgot about the Grand Ganol. Um, yeah, sure. All right, let's go Electromite. I forgot to pop the Grand Ganol, but whatever. I can still deal with that. Okay, spell power mastery, good. Wait, some other baby jackal banished. It's not good.
bro had super poly and imperm set. Oh, he has Nibiru. Last card in hand is Nibiru. Oh, no, it's not. Dogmatica or Despia. I thought he had Nibiru. Scared me for a second. But he just surrendered. Let me see, was he actually running Nibiru? He was, but I'm assuming he probably didn't have it. Chaos Nephis. I mean, it was my fault. Like, I would have been, like, extra sure if I would have just popped the, uh, Granganol. But somehow I completely forgot to pop it. Opening Secret Village. Okay, I'm thinking Snake Eyes. When they dis again, anytime they discard Ash, they have another one in hand. Every time. So I know he has another Ash. He has to. What? I'm getting vibes from a uh, destruction swordman. Is this dude gonna try to Buster lock me? He is. If he max sees me, I'm just gonna let it through. I'm much more concerned about like another potential Ash or him like reborning this to try to lock me out of the extra deck. I would much rather hold this call by the grave for Max for Ash Blossom or uh, this thing. The problem is I don't really have much follow-up after the fact. No? Okay. No ash on that. It's uh, definitely going. Definitely going, I'd say. Maybe he does just have Maxi. Prepare for floodgates? Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm anticipating. I think he has Maxi in hand, though. If he does, I might call by it, and then just, you know, scale Servant, scale Endymion, and, uh, you know, use that. Ah, Buster Dragon. It changes all monsters to dragons. Is there anything I need to do? The monster your opponent controls is destroyed by battle or card effect. I'll just banish it, I guess, with uh, Master Cerberus. Ah, that's what, that's how. Yep, okay, I'm getting floodgated. Well, kind of. I'm gonna have to Endymion. Definitely gonna have to Endymion. It 
You already know this dude came to fight against Tempai. And they're negated, right? Negate the activated effects or just all effects? No, it just can't activate. Okay. It can't activate, but I think I still gained the spell counters. Yep, that's exactly what he's going for. He's gonna try to buster lock me. Which is what I'm saving this call by the grave for. Imagine. Bro tried to floodgate and still surrendered. I mean, I get why he's playing it. He wants to deal with Tempai. But still. At the end of the day, it's still, like, a super toxic floodgate. And I know I'm running Secret Village, but at least you have out to Secret Village. See, Secret Village is a floodgate that can be outed. Like, so long as, like, you just get rid of your opponent's spellcaster monster or you yourself control a spellcaster, then, yeah, you have an easy out to Secret Village. Alright, does he have the Ash? Probably. No, Ash, am I going to get drolled here? Yep, I'm going to get drolled or something or max seed. I'm gonna draw into call I'm calling it now. I'm gonna draw into call by once I draw off of this uh, upstarter chicken game. I'm calling it right now. That's always how it goes. Desires, I don't wanna have to do that until I go electromite, but it's whatever. Well, if he has a he has something activatable, probably Imperm or something. Another Master Cerberus. I'll just use that as a scale, and then just summon this Endymion from my hand to protect my Electromite potentially. And before it's actually Valor.
Yep, of course. Let me guess, this was actually Tempai for once. I'm betting this was actually Tempai and I lost because of Max C. And that's what I'm betting. This one was actually Tempai. Yep, of course. Yep, they always open Max C. But at least in the festival, they won't have Maxi to carry them. And this hand is terrible. Well, it looks like he might have Maxi, so I pretty much just gotta hope this talent draws me something good. Baby Jackal better than nothing, I guess. So this is another Maxi, it looks like. I am gonna have to actually activate this Astrograph. I'm gonna go ahead and draw two. Nope, he has another response. Honestly, is it a guy did even use Astrograph right now? I don't know. It could be. Let's see. I'm gonna check for Imperm here. Okay. I mean, if I need to, I'll just end on uh, Servant, or I'll just end on Jackal King, Endymion, and Secret Village, and then pass, if I have to. Like, if I really have to, that's what I'll end on. Alright, so let's go ahead and summon a Jackal King from the deck. And before he top decks Ash now or something off of this. I'm calling it now, he top decked Ash. But if he did, I can probably just activate this early then, if he did. That way I can negate it. So I'll probably just summon another Jackal King here. And his field is lighting up. I'll pop Servant and Astrograph. Or do I just pop... I think I'll just pop and then search for a card to discard with Servant, maybe. Hmm. 
because I could search with one and then have servant place a spell counter on everything. Yeah, I think I'll just do that. Just gonna grab a baby jackal and pass here. To use with servant to discard everything. Or to discard, rather. Yeah. Up, oh, yep, negating that for sure. And I'm gonna go ahead and activate this. I need this, I like really need the spell counters here, so I'm definitely gonna activate Servant here. There's no point trying to negate that. Now, let me guess. He's gonna... I don't think... Should I negate that so I stop him from making a rank 4? Like, should I negate that? He already uses normal summon. I'm trying to think, is that worth negating? Because he could special summon it, then make a rank four, and then trigger a fusion summon. Uh, it is probably a bad choice, but I don't want him making any rank fours. I really don't want him making a rank four. Yep, there's Rhino Heart. He's probably going to Zeus me now, because he has two level fours. He's definitely going to Zeus me. Watch, he's going to make a rank four, go to battle, Zeus me. Wait, why couldn't I respond? Why couldn't I respond to that? Did I already use both? I didn't use both my Jackal Kings. Like, I negated Trick Clown and that was it. Why can't I respond? Like, literally, why can I not respond? Oh, and to get a deep sea? Yeah, you're right. I didn't get his normal summon. Yeah, of course. Fucking crutch cards.
Again, the fact that Tailorments aren't locked into fusions is dumb as fuck. And again, only losing because of Max C. And this hand is terrible. This hand is atrociously bad. Are you kidding me? What the fuck? I don't know, man. This hand is completely garbage. I gotta, like, hope my opponent activates something. Like, I don't know. Oh, I did not mean to activate. I meant to just... Okay. Whatever. At least that forced it. I meant to normal summon her, but whatever. I'm willing to bet he has Ash in hand as well. Of course he does. Yep, of course he does. Because my hand is just that bad. Yeah, it was an abysmal hand. Oh, great snake eyes. I'm guessing it's Fire King snake eyes. I hardly ever see pure snake eyes anymore. It's either Fire King snake eyes or Rescue Ace. Thanks for the cheers. What do you mean they have enough cards to play pure? They've been playing pure before Fire King, before uh, before Fire King came out. That's how it was played. Yeah. It's just that once, you know, Fire King came out, they just started splashing in Fire King with Snake Eyes because Fire King Snake Eyes is just infinitely better. Anomaly being in shadows chat watching him get master one then he comes to my stream and sees me struggling to make that of diamond five This month has just been so cursed for me Got to master with ABC nice I don't 
don't like that. Oh, uh, he's gonna make Lars. He's gonna make Lars. It's been like, I think this is the worst for me. And I've barely faced Tempai at all. I've just been getting terrible hands. Oh, okay. So he's using that to make, to give his uh, Doka more negates, I'm guessing. More monster negates. Summoning the Bell Star. Okay. Yeah, Maxi. So he's giving it to Doka from the looks of it. Fortunately, that's only for monster effects. Oh, never mind. There's Lars. Every hand is dropped. Yeah, you told me. Again, that's why I'm running Secret Village, but it's not like it really matters at this point. I'm not sure if I can play through this. AM, speak of Maxi. Let's see if he negates reflection first before I scale Servant. Again, this is why I'm running Secret Village. Master Cerberus, huh? This destroys, right? No, it detaches and negates that. Ah, oh, that's that's actually worse. That is like legitimately worse. It, it just detaches to negate. It just targets and negates. If it negated and destroyed, then yeah, it would have been better, but it doesn't. Honestly, there's nothing I can do at this point because, yeah, my hand is just bricked now. If I had another spell, then yeah, but I don't. Yeah, there's nothing I can do here. The Valence package hasn't really been doing much for me anyways. But you see what I mean? I've just been getting bad hands the whole time. Like, I've literally just been getting bad hands, like this. <sighs> I need one more activatable spell card to even be able to do something here. Probably not going to get it. And I got a spell, but it's dead, so fun. It's like I'm pendulum summoning early.
So let's throw a Jackal King in the extra deck or something. I don't know. I don't. It, Drytron Ritual meant if you, if they win first, you auto lost. I missed when the only thing you had to worry when like the biggest threat was freaking Shreg Omen just banishing one card. The thing is, Snake Eyes Fire King is not that hard to deal with. It's just my hands have been terrible. Snake Eyes Fire King is not a hard deck to deal with. Back when uh, freaking Drytron was meta, that's when I was running True Dracos because True Dracos was one of the few cards that could out the Disco Ball. You just tribute summon over one of your continuous traps and pop the disco ball and it couldn't do anything about it. Yeah, but then again, at the same time... Then again, though, at the same time, though, Imperial Order was legal. Just remember that. Imperial Order was legal at the same time. What do you mean that's Cali? I'm going versus a YouTuber? Yeah. Uh. Is he streaming right now or something? I don't know. I could go Celine, but that's not going to really do much here. Eh, whatever, let's do it. Oh, cool. Watch me get absolutely mollywalked by this dude. Of course, you, do you really think I'm... Do you really think, like, I'm that dishonorable that I would stream snipe? Alright, let's pop Baby Jackal, Servant, and Chicken Game. This is a weak board, but it's whatever. Nah, you bet Renos can jump in. Well, the thing is, they don't... They probably don't even know me. They probably don't even know I'm streaming. That's what I'm saying. I'm just a random person on Master Duel. They don't know that I'm a streamer. Ah, Brandon. I'm going to go ahead and call it by that. Ah, uh, he needs to get rid of my Endymion. No, my Jackal King. Okay. He needs his monster effects. I don't know what you're typing in, but if y'all are trying to stream, stream snipe his hand or whatever, don't do it. That's what I'm saying, like, that's what I'm saying, don't tell me what his hand is.
No, this is ranked. Is there a dragon ravine? Which is more important to negate, dragon ravine or boot sector launch? Honestly, I could have dealt with this if I would have gotten my usual strong, like, end board, but I didn't. My board was weak. Ravine, okay. That's if he even goes for Ravine. And if he does have Ravine, I'm not gonna bounce in Demion. I'm just gonna bounce my institution. Unless he's like going for Goddess or something. No, he needs one more monster to go for Goddess. Uh, okay. Heretic Seals. Okay, so that can get rid of my Endymion. Going for Ball Drake. So he can non target return my Endymion. Okay, Chaos Angel, he's gonna banish. Was it made up of light and dark? It was. Either gonna go for Servant or Institution. Alright, Banishing Servant. So, currently made with light and dark. Reflection ain't doing much. And this can return any card, right? Tribute one monster from your hand or field, return one face-up card on the field, all right. He's gonna bounce my institution. Okay. What can I grab here with the institution? I can probably just remove the spell counter off of... Actually, no, that's only going to be two. I gotta think about this. Ball Drake. Beyond the Pendulum. I suppose that could work. Yeah, I guess that is a way I could go. And then Pendulum Summon for two. Yes, I did. I removed two from Endymion and one from Institution. I guess so. I'm trying to think. Give me a second. I could go beyond, fetch a scale, then Pendulum Summon for two. I think that's the way.
just grab another scale, I guess. Yeah, I should have, definitely. Considering he did have seals. Maxi, whatever. Let's go Endymion and Jackal King. And I think, unironically, my Endymion... My Endymion in the scale can deal with the Chaos Angel. My Endymion in scale should be able to deal with the Chaos Angel. So I just make my second Selene here. So I'm going to do something here first. I'm going to try to go for lethal. Probably has a bis deal though. All right, let's normal summon and hope he doesn't draw into a Bistille here. <laughs> 